So this is a quick video because I was really struggling to find um, any good videos on how to actually track down if you've got a robot mower or some sort of pet fence um, underground boundary wire, how to find a break with it. There are lots of people who have said that they've reported varying levels of success with an AM radio and listening for static, but it didn't feel like it was the best solution and so I've ended up having a look see what other solutions are out there and what other tools are out there if you've got quite a large area of land like we do you may end up having to pay a little bit extra but there are some cable detection uh, pieces of equipment that you can buy on Amazon or eBay um, if you've got anything like this blue flashing light it means that there's a break somewhere in the cable so what I've ended up doing is buying uh, this this piece of equipment which apparently works to find both AC and um, uh, so uh, two wire and also single wire uh, cables that you can find works quite simply by having a detection unit that I'll show you shortly what I've done in the back of here is disconnected both ends of the loop from the base station and connected just one end of the uh, uh, of the crop clips from the uh, emitter unit and then turned up the sensitivity quite high um, on that side of things it's then just a question of following round with the receiver unit and I'll show you how uh, like how to do that and then how that actually works shortly I'll go and get the receiver so this is the receiver unit um, looks pretty much the same as the other one except it's got an uh, like and a sort of small antenna that's on it um turn it on just by holding the button power comes on and you hear that really really awesome beeping turn down the sensitivity so that it finds more exactly where the actual cable is so this comes out of out of the base station and you can see how it can more accurately detect the actual location but since I'm just trying to find a break whack the sensitivity up then afterwards walk around until eventually you do find the break that you're looking for so I'll show you how I've found the break so coming along here and then you can see here so this is where I've I've actually cut out the broken bit of cable so and this end is obviously dead now because I've uh, because I've not yet connected it back up again but the piece of cable that I found on the surface of things looked okay until I pulled it out of the ground and then saw the corrosion that was happening on the outside and then inside here is actually where the break in the cable was so you can see there that it's making a partial connection so I found actually in this case that this was extremely difficult to pick up on the AM radio because what it happened was was you're listening to static you're not listening to an output whereas the beeping got considerably dimmer when um, when moving away uh, from that point of the break um, it was still there, but it was much more difficult to find the cable, and so this was where I've then afterwards cut this piece out. So I'll then be using some of the the little joins uh, to put that back in the ground, and then carrying on my my cable uh, continuity journey for the remaining 800 meters of cable that I probably have to do. But I thought that this might be a useful video for somebody who is also struggling as I was with actually finding the cable. Um, yeah. Uh, good luck.